when it comes to solving problems with circles. Understanding the difference between a circle's radius and the circle's diameter is very important. We see two circles here. In the circle on the left, we see a line that goes from a point on the outside of the circle to the circle's center. This line represents the length of the circle's radius. Here, we don't know exactly what the length of the circle's radius is, so we just say that it's length x. The unit of measurement for the radius is going to vary depending on the problem, so we won't worry about the units here. But just know that measuring the length in meters or centimeters is pretty common. Okay, so now let's look at the circle on the right. The circle on the right has a line that goes from one point on the outside of the circle to another point on the outside of the circle. And we see that it passes through the center. This line represents the circle's diameter. Now, we need to note that the length of the diameter is twice as long as the radius. So since we already said that the length of the radius is x, and since the diameter is equal to twice the radius, it makes sense that the diameter is equal to 2x. Based off of the definitions of the radius and diameter that we just looked at, we can write out some simple formulas to help us with any calculations that we'll have to do. So for the formulas, I'm going to write the radius as a lowercase r, and I'm going to write the diameter as a capital D. And so let's start with the formula for the diameter. So since we know that the diameter is twice the length of the radius, we can say that D is equal to 2R. And so say that we just were given this formula here. We didn't know anything else about this. We just were given the formula D equals 2R. And yeah, this is supposed to be an equal sign. Yeah, just bear with me here, but that's an equal sign. And so what we would do is divide by 2 on each side here. So if we divide by 2 here, we also have to divide by 2 here. And the point in doing this is to get r by itself, just like a basic algebra problem. We want to solve the equation for r. In other words, that means we want to get r by itself on one side of the equation. So if we divide by 2 here, we see that 2 divided by 2 is going to give us 1. And we don't know what the diameter is, so we can just leave this side as d divided by 2. And so if I rewrite it over here, we see that the radius is equal to d. My equal sign's a little better on this side, by the way. But we see that the radius is equal to d divided by 2. So the radius is equal to half the diameter. The diameter is equal to twice the radius. So these are the formulas you can use for any kind of calculations. You can either memorize these if you want to, or you can just simply remember the concept. So let me rewrite this one here. D equals 2R. And I'll just cross this out, because this was just scratch work. So again, you can memorize these formulas or just remember the concepts. Now let's look at a few example problems. The first problem here is a fill-in-the-blank question. So if you want to, go ahead and pause the video and see what you come up with. To get this one correct, you just have to remember the definitions of the radius and the diameter, which are shown here on the screen. So remember that, that the diameter is the length of the line that goes from one point on the circle to the circle center, and then to another point on the circle, and that the radius is the length of the line from one point on the circle to the circle center. Here's another example problem. The problem reads, if the length of the circle's radius is 6 centimeters, what is the length of the diameter? Again, this would be another good time to pause the video and see if you can work this one out on your own. Okay, hopefully you got a chance to try this problem out. We're now going to go over it. So, we're asked to find the length of the diameter given the radius, so we can go right to the formulas we looked at earlier and use the formulas to get the answer. So, remember before that we said that the radius is equal to half of the diameter. And that the diameter is equal to twice the radius. Now what happens if you forget the formulas? Well, you can just remember the pictures. So here we can see that if you just look here, the line here for the radius is half as big as the line here for the diameter, so therefore you can remember the formula based on that. Um, you can go the other way around too, you can say, hey look, the, the line for the in the diameter picture is twice as long as the radius, so therefore the diameter equals 2r. 
Um, so you can remember it from the picture, or you can also remember the definitions of the radius and diameter. Um, alternatively, you know, if you ever just know one, like if you know that the diameter equals 2r and you forget the formula for the radius, you can derive it just by solving the equation for r, or vice versa, if you just know the formula for the radius, the radius equals d divided by 2, you can solve for d, you would just multiply by 2 on both sides of the equation, and of course the 2's would cancel out on this side, and that's how you would get the diameter equals 2r. So again, I've said this a million times, but I'll keep saying it because it's really important. You can either memorize, simply memorize the formulas, or you can, if you know one, you can derive the other. You can look at the pictures, you can look at the definitions, it doesn't really matter. Um, but so here, to get the value of the length of the diameter, we're going to use this formula here, diameter equals 2r, and we'll just plug in the 6. So we see diameter equals 2 times 6. And 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So we would see that the diameter is equal to 12. And the units are centimeters, so we would see that answer choice C is the correct answer. So one more thing I want to point out here is A is incorrect. And if you picked A, you may have used the wrong formula. Um, so here, if you use the, if you solve for the radius, Right, if you use the formula here, um, radius equals 6 divided by 2, and you plug 6 in for the diameter instead of the radius, you would get 3 as your answer. So if you did that, just understand that A is incorrect. All right, one last example. Thanks for sticking with me so far, guys. This one reads, if the length of the circle's diameter is 32 centimeters, what is the length of the radius? So in the last one, we were going from given the radius, finding the diameter. Here, we're given the diameter. We want to find the radius. So again, go ahead and pause the video if you want to try this on your own, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so let's find the radius. To do this, we can use the formula r equals d over 2. And we were already told the value of the diameter, it's 32 centimeters, so we can just plug 32 right into the formula. And 32 divided by 2 gives us 16. So since the units are in centimeters, we know that the answer is 16 centimeters. So B is correct. If you chose the answer choice C, the mistake you may have made was using the formula D equals 2R. If you use the formula for diameter and mistakenly plug 32 in for the radius, you would have then done 2 times 32, which is 64. Just note that that's incorrect because the question STEM asks us to find the length of the radius. So that's about it. The main takeaway here for right now is just that the radius is equal to half the diameter and that the diameter is equal to twice the radius. And being able to go from radius to diameter is important for all kinds of different questions. Finding the area of a circle, finding the circumference of a circle, and different word problems with circles all may require these methods, so keep that in mind. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know and look for more videos in the future.